think Vicky here with you and I've got a project that I'm going to share but I also need for that project to disassemble this disassemble my uh, keyboard so I removed all the screws from the back and now all I'm needing to do is to just pop those out because they're basically uh, just popped in so that's all you need to do and I wanted to share this with you prior to removing all of them um, just so that you would see how easy it is to remove them and now I'm putting them in here I've also like I've cleaned up the keyboard because obviously somebody was using it and I just wanted it clean uh, so I wiped it out with um, some uh, BB wipes and yeah so I'll be back to show you my project later Hi everyone, Crafting Vicky here and I'm back and uh, so you were probably wondering what am I going to do with the keyboard well first before we do anything I want to paint these frames with black gesso so let's do that first and this is a cheap uh, art mind frame I believe it came from either Michaels or the dollar store but I would think it's Michaels doesn't even have a um, doesn't even have a, a glass so very very cheap but that's okay because this is my first experiment on this and I'm hoping it's gonna turn out good but if it doesn't at least I won't have spend a lot of money on buying frames and stuff so so I put art guard on my ends first because I didn't want my ends to be all dirty and uh, I'm checking but I'm making a mess on the other side so I think I'm gonna have to paint the other side black as well my even frame <laughs> so this is just natural wood doesn't have any uh, prepping on it so it makes it very easy to uh, To just just so just want to make sure that I don't have big uh, drip lines not too concerned with my brush marks because with what I want to do on top of this you're not going to see anything so it won't matter So I have to admit that this is not my original idea. I uh, I wasn't the one who came up with it. I saw it in a store over the holidays uh, when I went with a friend to a store. And um, these, by the way, were found at um, either a thrift store or a garage sale. I can't remember, but it's been, I've had them for a long time waiting for the right project to come along and now I finally have it but definitely not a lavender type of project so anyway I'm back to uh, my story I was I saw this idea in a store while out with my friend and I figured this would be amazing and I've been wanting to try it ever since so today is the day you can use whatever frames you have 
doesn't have to be uh, expensive ones. It's a great way of recycling something that uh, you had and Okay, so I'll let these dry and I will be right back and I'll do the back and then I'll be back. So while my other little frames are drying, let's start with this one. So it's all covered and I did the back as well. It's all ready to go. Uh, so while I was do undoing the keyboard, I came across this at the base of the keyboard and I thought this would be awesome on top of the frame so I'm gonna be putting down some uh, 3d gloss gel uh, it's supposed to be transparent it's from uh, Prima and I got that on sale so it's time that I use up my stuff and I want to make sure that this thing sticks so that is why I'm doing this I'm using this. So on one side, there's going to be uh, something like that overhangs in the middle and not on the other side. So I was thinking of doing something like this to kind of use the, uh, the shape, which is kind of cool. So put this down. Now I need to cut around this thing. So I don't know how thick this is but it doesn't look all that thick. Well it seems to be thicker than I thought. Hmm. So maybe let's turn this over and uh, mark it with a pen. And of course, I'm making a mess, but this is the first time I'm doing this so I'm learning as we go I didn't even expect to find this thing honestly on the back of uh, it's to be expected though because I mean something has to transfer over the uh, the information of what you're pressing but mind the overhang in the middle but I don't want to overhang on the side okay so I remove the excess perfect and now learning from my experience let's set not make the same mistake again. So I'm gonna do this this way and it doesn't write though on top of this thing. Um, I wonder if my Fabric Castell are gonna write on it.
Yep. Okay. Good. And I messed up the front with the gloss, but that's okay because I'll clean it up after. So let's try to do a good job on the cutting. Okay, so we've got that here, and just a tad more. Like that. Make sure everything is aligned. Press this down well. Okay, now I just need to add the little pieces that are missing. So, this one seems pretty perfect. And the good thing with this project is you're also um, removing this from the lens fills so because uh, computer stuff is not is not good uh, for the environment so circuit boards and stuff like that and this way you're using them in uh, in something and I figured this would be a perfect geeky frame uh, And now I'll just let this dry. Now I'm noticing that I'm putting some black paint in this jar, which is not the smartest thing to do. So I will let this dry and I will show you guys once it's dry. And uh, let's, in the meantime, switch to the other two little frames that should be finished drying by now. Just a bit left to dry so let's dry this off because I really want to get going so we've only got this little part of plastic that's left so I'm quite happy with that and I'm going to keep it because I probably can use it in some other piece of art just think it's really neat okay so for these what I want to do is to use them up and I don't I guess it can go whichever way um, use them up with the little keyboard um, holes so I don't want the two frames to be exactly the same way So let's do that like this. So now I've got all those little pieces. 
that needs to find a home. So this is kind of like a puzzle piece where you uh, make it fit to the puzzle. And those kind of need to That's why you need to use the uh, gel medium because there's a there's a, a gap uh, it's not flush Oops Actually, I'm thinking I'm going to use modeling paste. It's going to make it easier. I've got black one here. So let's just remove this here. And I remove some of my black. Hopefully, the little pieces will cover it. Take a smaller spatula as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna apply the modeling paste on top of this so that I can fit the keys inside it. I think that will be easier to make them stick. So before I cover the full frame, let's try this out and see how that goes. I think it's easier to have it stick. I put gel medium on top of this, so just trying to move it a bit. I could, of course, remove the backing, that might be a good idea. like cut off the um, little excess uh, pieces, but I'm going to kind of center them. I don't have enough space here to put another row, so I kind of alternate. I'm better off putting them the right way. <laughs> eh, not upside down.
center of the top row as well. And the modeling piece on the rest will just give it a nice uh, finish. doesn't look uh, wanted to look like it was supposed to be that way I'm gonna keep some of the big ones for the other frame as well that can be change this up a bit Put this here. Here and put a little one on this side. And I'm putting gook all over them because my hands are all a mess. And that's one little frame done. So I'll put it aside to dry. Same thing with this one. And, uh, put it this way. I'm really hoping that once this is all dry that it looks as amazing as I'm thinking in my head that it will it's 
that happen to you? You have ideas and then uh, you're really hoping that uh, once you finish with them, whatever you're doing, that it turns out the way you want. And sometimes it just doesn't. And you could put your the name of somebody if you wanted. I didn't, but that would be a good uh, that would be a cute idea if you wanted to personalize something. So long as you don't need two of the same uh, letter, because then that would not work unless you've got two different keyboards. But that could be fun too to have different keyboards and uh, to have them. Uh, That the letters might not look exactly the same. So I'm probably going to have enough to make something else. But if this turns out the way I'm hoping it's going to turn out, then I might do more. And uh, I'm thinking that this could be a fun thing to sell at, uh, at a craft fair. Okay, so I will let this dry and I will be back once it's all dried.